that one guy. It's going to be Donkey Kong. A heavy versus a slightly less heavy. Of course, the two characters have similar dash attacks. So this might be a bit interesting. Progresses. Korean is more than willing to go with hard S Smasher. Oh no, but it gets an early down air, and that one guy is going to be already up a stock within 20 seconds off of that quick and that daring play. Korean, a bit of character and experience in that type of coverage, it could have been a lot better. To be fair, offstage, that is looking very small for Korean. He has to now that Jack wanted to prepare to get that second spike, but he's going to put below the stage and almost pineapples himself for the as that second jump to serve. As well, that, that grenade that Banjo possesses is a very decent zoning tool. It's not going to land as much. The Wonder Wing is below the platform. He's going to slide back on top of the platform. No taunt in Korean this time. This is a bit more serious here. Means Banjo means business. Back here from that one Another dash attack that roll. Very similar to what Banjo had in this game. Very good well by the time. will take him off the side, and now Korean already down to his last off within 90 seconds. That one guy on a roll. Hunt absolutely intended. But the throw will get him back off stage. He's going to be very careful. He's going to recover with the get up attack. All too prepared with that. He's going to jerk him a little bit. He's going to get the trade. Rat rats that back air, the back air as well. Has a super punch charge up too. Korean has to be matching so hard to get out of that, but still yet to get it. And this could be an up air if he's not careful. DK will be living off of that back air as well. S Max not connecting. Egg will pop him out. The grab. The grenade will free him. Buried, but the match is out. Sort of adding to the two similarities that these characters have. They both have varying attacks, and you're going to see a lot of mashing perhaps on both sides here. But popped up by his own grenade, and uses the down air to catch that one guy off guard, not in a position to punish. And this might be a down throw to up smash kill. It will be that Bill Drill, the up smash, will get that final stock on deck. He's going to have to be very careful, and he's going to be buried into the up smash. Korean losing that first stock very early, and it was all downhill from there. Did very well to bring it back, but just so little you can do within those long hitboxes that DK provides, and even though some of them are unsafe if you're just not prepared to punish it. Korean got a bit unfortunate as well because he had a few F smash setups and a few ledge traps that would have worked if not for his own grenade sort of betraying him there and knocking that one guy out of out of range, perhaps. It's going to be a character, uh, not a character switch, rather, but a costume switch. Going with this red suspenders banjo. It gets him with that back throw, that cargo back throw. He's going to have to waste. Oh, no, but he didn't. He wasn't in a position to tech it. He got caught by the Wonder Ring. He's laughing it off, but he knows that was just a quick mental lapse, and that's going to cost him his first stock. That one guy is up a game, so can't afford, can't afford to be a bit more careful here just to see out his opponent. And he wasn't caught on to Korean's habits already. He wanted a daring option offstage. Use that full hop. Although he's going to mash out of that before the up throw can come out. It's once again with a grab. Green, meanwhile, has the grab in the back throw. Comes out Wonder Wing to the side of the stage, but he's going to back off stage with the cargo throw, and that's going to be another stock where even up in stocks, but not quite in percents. That one guy with a super size triple digit percent right there. Green is playing this game a lot more grounded. Perhaps it's just a byproduct of the stage. And 
with the fact that he doesn't want to go. He's missing another tech, and he's going to have to use a Wonder Wing to make it back. But once again, put back onto the stage, and two hands will get Korean right down. The second spike of the set, and Korean has to be furious about that one. He's in the lead and lost it within an instant. Another back throw from that one guy. Korean makes it back with the get-up attack. Grenade on top of the platform to the up air. Although I like the hesitation from Korean on top of the platform. He got that one guy to just burn the super punch there, and that's gonna kill. So sliding on top of that platform, he's only 62% down. This is a lot more doable than game one. And Already, if you can get a grenade going, if you can get a couple of setups waiting. You saw that F smash as it comes up. Lay back. Did not want to get buried again. The thing about uh, Phantom's grenades and some of the awkward part about this game is that they're not perfectly round, but that F smash will meet Korean and now didn't even need to play the neutral game for much longer. A hard read will pay off for that one guy, and he will move on. So he will have a tough test in winner's round three against Void. Good luck to him.